Hi guys, Trisha Fresh Rock here. Today we're going to be talking about all the uh, most common species of fish you'll likely to run into while fishing in Oregon. Whether you're an Oregon local angler or you consider coming to Oregon for a fishing trip, uh, I hope this video will help be helpful to you. So let's kick things off with one of the uh, most popular uh, types of fish when people come to Oregon and fish for, and that would be sturgeons. Uh, two species of sturgeons in Oregon, white sturgeon, green sturgeon. Um, white sturgeon, uh, at least in my part where I'm at, it's closed for half a year. The other half of the year, you could fish, usually in the winter time. Uh, for sturgeons, uh, best baits I've seen people use uh, and had success with is herring. Uh, herring is very good on a uh, sturgeon rig, which I have made a video on, and I'll link in the description below. So next off, we've got American Shad. American Shad, I've, uh, uh, I've seen people catch some big ones uh, in Willamette and uh, in Clackamas River. Uh, shad, people just use jigs, uh, and then on a usually heavier um, weight, basically fishing a double jig rig if you know what that is if you don't know you can look it all on google uh, it's pretty simple you basically just tie like a, a drop shot rig but with two jigs instead of two instead of a hook and then uh, just use fake grub tails or you could also choose to use worms i'm sure both of these work pretty well and then we've got uh suckers suckers you could verse like a 10 species of these spread for your Oregon. Uh, they are not considered game fish and not a lot of people fish from them. Uh, mainly the difference between the 10 species of suckers is regional. Uh, some of them are in this region, some of them are in that region. Uh, a good rule of thumb is usually in salmon steelhead and trout creeks you almost always find suckers. If you want to target suckers, uh, use I would say a size 8 or a size 6 hook tipped with worms uh, and just roll a Carolina rig, I think it would be good. Uh, after that, we've got carp, uh, of course. Um, grass carp, uh, you can find in most, uh, I would say, big ponds and lakes. Uh, they are introduced there to keep uh, the lakes clean, uh, like they're introduced everywhere, just to control the weed. And then we've also got uh, common carp, spread fruit everywhere. Corn is amazing for them. They will also buy worms uh, in my. Uh, experience they'll also bite worms and then after that we've got a bunch of chubs don't fish for chubs a lot but uh i could tell you that i've seen people fish for them they just basically use a basically what you would be using when you are kind of in the in between a micro fishing and multi-species fishing just use smaller hooks and then uh tip it with worm and then use either a carolina rig or a split shot rig uh for number of pike minnow uh, special notable mention of Northern Pike Minnow. Uh, so, Oregon government in the past few years have been running this program. I'm pretty sure it's to kind of kill the Pike Minnows. I think anglers that if you catch a Pike Minnow, please like kill it or turn it in for like five bucks per fish, something like that. Uh, when I'm, I'm pretty sure the program is only Columbia, but Pike Minnows are spread in the Willamette too. He, and also the Clackamas and the Tolton. It's pretty much spread throughout the state. Uh, what they, why they want this gun is not because it's invasive, but because it is native. And it eats salmon eggs as its primary food, uh, well, as one of its food source. And because the uh, salmon numbers have gone down over the years, uh, and the pike minnow numbers stay the same, uh, the government kind of wants to get the ecosystem balanced, so they want to get rid of uh, some pike minnows. I'm pretty sure it's going pretty well. I've caught pike minnow, which is like my personal best fish. And I, I'm pretty sure you've seen it before. Uh, other than that, uh, we've got some. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking about sunfish. So, sunfish, Oregon, uh, bluegill would be by far the most common. I would say red ear, pumpkin seed. Green sunfish and warm mouth. All of these are around the same. Uh, you can find these spread out in rivers, uh, in uh, lakes, in ponds. Just use a worm and bobber rig and you'll catch them just fine. Uh, smallies, just typical smallie baits, crankbaits will work. Uh, in here, I know they like net rig a lot. Cross is also a great way to catch them. 
uh, when I'm at Columbia, and I'm pretty sure if you go more south of Oregon, you can also still find them. Not enough in most lakes. Uh, you just fish for them um, uh, like you pretty much do anywhere in the United States. Um, one thing to know is that largemouth bass here is a little more finicky, so just keep in mind. Uh, white and black crappie, uh, they are found pretty much everywhere too. Uh, lakes, reservoirs, uh, backwaters, on rivers. Uh, they'll just buy typical crappie baits too, jigs, uh, worms, uh, spinners, um, all of these are fine. Now we've got yellow perch, just drop a worm rig on a jig head or a, um, let's see. Yeah, a jig head with a grub tail or like worm on Carolina rig, it will work fine for them. Uh, I found a lot of them in lakes, reservoirs, and uh, sometimes in backwaters and rivers too. Why? Uh, I've never caught a why in Oregon. I'm pretty sure most of them are in the Columbia re region. They're, uh, they're pretty rare in what I met, or I've never seen much people catch them. But uh, I'm pretty sure spinners and uh, like. Uh, what do people do with these? Uh, like jig head and you put a dead fish on there, it works well too. Like a, dark, a dead shiner or stuff like that. But make sure it's dead. Live bait is not allowed in Oregon. Uh, I need to bring that up. So sturdy flounder is another thing that I think uh, even sometimes scare like uh, Oregon anglers. It looks a lot like a hollaboo and flounder, uh, a flat fish shaped species of fish and they are in freshwater. Uh, or a lot of people think they are in salt water because you know they look like flatfish and flatfish mainly lives in salt water but this is kind of a weird one in the uh, family so it stays in fresh water uh, they don't get really big I would say about palm sized uh, just if you want I don't know why you would want to catch them most people catch them on accident but in case you do warm rig uh, on the bottom of rivers I'm pretty sure you'll have a good chance of catching them now let's get to uh, salmon and steelhead and trout stuff. Chinook, coho, sockeye, chum, and pink. Uh, five salmon of Pacific, we've got them all here in Oregon. Fly fishing, uh, spinner, uh, plunking with uh, plugs, and uh, drift, drift fishing, and a bunch of more uh, are good ways to catch them. For trout, same thing. Uh, mainly you have uh, for wild trout. I would suggest using spinners or fly. Stock trout definitely go towards uh, commercial power bay or power eggs. Uh, we've got cutthroat, and we've got mountain whitefish. I heard these are very delicious, but uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll have to go into high mountain creeks for these. Uh, brown trout and uh, brook trout you can find in streams across eastern Oregon as well as uh, southern parts of Oregon. Boat trout uh, is endangered, I don't suggest you to fish for them. And then let's get to a scopin family. Scopin family, uh, scopins you'll find all across the state. Lakes, rivers, any body of water technically, they are pretty small, they can even survive in small creeks. If you want to fish with them, split shot rig, Carolina rig with a small piece of worm and small hook, you'll be fine. You'll be uh, good to go for these guys. Um, catfishing in Oregon is not uh, as good as in other states, or as so I have been told by Albert. Uh, his favorite species of fish to catch is a channel catfish. He catches them, uh, I'm pretty sure he catches big ones all the time back in Iowa, but uh, according to him, catfishing doesn't, isn't as well in Oregon. Uh, the main reason is, uh, I don't know what's the main reason. Uh, anyways, for channel cats, if you go to ponds or uh, lakes, I would say, especially in ponds, they kind of get stunted for growth. It's like a foot or two feet max. In lakes, you might get bigger ones around like three, uh, three feet. And uh, in rivers, I'm pretty sure there's bigger ones out there, but... I don't know how to catch them, honestly. Uh, I'll try everything, chicken liver, worms, they don't bite it. Guess you'll just have to grind them out. Um, yellow bowhead is very common. Backwaters in rivers, uh, non-backwaters in rivers, uh, just like in rivers in general. Lakes, ponds, reservoirs, yellow bowhead are uh, like everywhere, literally. 
Back bow head and brown bow head, I've uh, not seen much. Flathead catfish, uh, you will have to go into Snake River, uh, which is on the eastern border of uh, Oregon with Idaho. I'm pretty sure that's the only place in the whole state that has flatheads. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's basically catfishing for Oregon. So today I brought you guys on like a majority of Oregon fishing. And I hope this video has helped you. If it does, please leave a like down below, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos with all your friends and families who fish. Mr. Fresh Water, out.